Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. <clears throat> I want to get into a lesson entitled "Listen and Le Listen and Learn," or "Listen and Burn." Going into the prophets of the Lord Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Listen and learn. Now you'd rather listen and learn, but it's really not up to you. You have to be of a club called the election. Okay? The election, meaning the selective few of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and those confusion of faces, confusion um of faces, all right, that are scattered abroad. That may look like the other nations, but um, is of Israel. All right, which um, that word confusion of face. Well, I you know I'm not going to get into that, but those that so the elect are so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans. There's twelve, there's one hundred and forty-four thousand of you, and the one third that are chosen to make it out of here. Okay. And um, you will have to have learned your lesson, came back into the Heavenly Father, humbled yourself unto Him, and um, He will save you out of the, out of the destruction. But if not, well, too bad. All right. Let me see. Yeah, I forgot the piece up already. Um, well, let's start off with Zechariah 13 and 8. All right, common precept. We all know it. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Two thirds out of three thirds, all right. So two thirds of you Israelites shall be cut off and die. Okay, and I will bring the third part through the fire. So how are you going to be cut off with fire? All right, which is going to be other prophecies where in some will get cut off according to Jeremiah sixteen, such to the sword to the sword. Two thirds have appointed deaths already. All right, to a stray bullet, to the sword, to a heart attack. And some are just, some will be saved for ICBM nuclear missile. And I believe that is um, going to be these fallout boys. And I may even be some of our... Um, Family members, who knows? You know, because the scriptures say, if you know, you shall be beaten with many more stripes. And that's the harshest uh, um, punishment is to get burnt alive in a million plus degree fire. So it says, and I'll bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. And when you go into the law, how do you normally rectify a situation? Is you would provide a turtle dove or a lawful animal, a goat, a ram, a lamb, um, to the priests of the people. And um, they will offer that offering unto the Lord. By fire. Okay. So if you don't offer yourselves at this point, like it says in um, Romans 12, 
off your body as a living sacrifice if you don't do that now, which proves that you learned because you humbled yourself. You stopped doing what you was doing because you learned that it pisses the Heavenly Father off. Okay? But if you choose not to, you know, you choose to eat, still continue to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster well, your judgment is set. Okay? You choose to continue to call upon the name of a false god, your judgment is set. You know, you choose to continue to mark at the prophets of the Lord, your judgment is set. You know, you choose to still continue to uh, commit adultery, your judgment is set. Okay. This is Ezekiel chapter 3. Verse 16, and it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Okay, that's why we give the people warning based off the scriptures, off of the Bible. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquities, but his blood will I require at thine hands. Okay? So it's not just about having the knowledge, it's about utilizing that knowledge and passing it on to your brother. <laughs> and if you change... That's why it says, uh, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Okay. Again, one listened to learn and one listened, but then received it. So they're going to burn. All right. The scriptures speak about how, um, grab that. Matthew 7 and 21. Now everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom of heaven. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, as you see. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then when I will prophesy. Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. Okay? You depart from the presence of the Lord, you are automatically in destruction. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. The rain descended, and the, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not. For it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these things of mine endureth them not. Those that didn't learn shall be likened unto a foolish man who has built his house upon sin. And the rain descended and floods came. The scriptures say that his devil is going to come down having great wrath. You know. And the winds blew, right? Which these are all very strong characteristics. Floods, all right? You got tsunamis, all right? Uh, uh, wind storms. They come through very destructive. So if you're not tied down, if you haven't received the grafted word, the engrafted word, you know, as, as I'm going to get, then you ain't making it. And beat upon the house and it fell. And great, great was the fall of it. All right? Because a lot of people think, well, you know, they they don't take it serious because they don't have. Well, really, like I said, they, they have the two-thirds club. 
but the characteristics of a two-third is no vision. All right, because faith is a gift, as it says in Ephesians 2 and 8. The scriptures tell us, James 1 and 21, all right, wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity. All right, basically lay, all these words basically just lead to the flesh, filthiness, all right, dishonor, superfluity, profit, superiority. Thinking of you somebody, naughtiness, all right, ill will, desire to injure, and receive with meekness, oh, ready to learn, the engrafted word, engrafted meaning inborn, implanted by nature, which is able to save your souls. Okay. And receive them with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Okay, to save, keep safe and sound, to rescue from danger or destruction. All right. Let's get that Proverbs 13. What was that? Yep. Proverbs 3 and 13. Proverbs 3 and 11. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. Okay, he correcteth. Now, in the world, we would call that corrective criticism. Corrective criticism is all the time, well, I say pretty much all the time, harsh. Nevertheless, are you going to be as a woman or are you going to gird your loins and receive it as Job did? Even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Because knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time and strength of salvation. Knowledge and wisdom is going to keep you from the fear of the evil one, from the snare of the father. Okay. Meanwhile, those that don't have knowledge, you know, those who are superfluous, filthy, all right, those who are stuck in the flesh, well, they're going to receive Maxine. They're going to receive the RFID chit. Then they're going to receive a missile. All right, let's get one more and I end it out. So I'm going to just jump straight to the point. Brothers can read this on their own. But this is basically um, Ezra and the angel, which the Lord is speaking through the angel to Ezra, going back and forth. And he's talking about, you know, Ezra asking him about, you know, the Lord's people. And they're, break, they're basically just breaking it down on, on, you know, salvation and who should receive it. Right. All right, 
the straight up salvation. I believe maybe that I must I might be talking about uh, chapter eight. Yeah, so in a nutshell, it's basically all for the most part talking about uh let's see salvation to the just, all right, and uh judgment to the wicked. In a nutshell, like I said, brothers, you know, check it out on their own. There's 70 verses, so I'm not about to read, I'm not gonna read the whole thing. But um jumping to the point verse uh Fifty seven. Then answered he me and said, This is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. All right. What are you going to do? You're going to lean into the flesh? Or you're going to lean into the spirit? That's basically the battle, right? That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. But if he get the victory, he shall receive the thing that I say. For well, this is the life whereof Moses spake unto the people while he lived, saying, Choose thee life that thou mayest live. Nevertheless, they believed not him, nor yet the prophets after him, no, nor me, which have spoken unto them, that there should not be such heaviness in their destruction as shall be joy over them that are persuaded to salvation. Okay. So, which one, hey, now the ball's in your court. Which one do you choose? All right? And we just got to pray for the latter. Pray for salvation. Because ultimately, it's up to the Lord, you know. The elect were predestined, as it says in um First Peter 1. You know? But the scriptures do tell us to give um diligence to make our calling and election sure. So, the elect. Will be given diligence into the Heavenly Father, changing their ways, praying unto Him, all right, doing what they got to do to make it. So, with that, Shalom to the elect.